Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt with another uh, shaving video. And uh, today I'm going to be using a uh, Dapper Dragon signature. I actually got a sample of this. Yeah. So I'll be giving that a try. Uh, asked around uh, a lot of people what's your favorite Dapper Dragon scent? And a lot of them said signature and black dragon. So I got a sample of both. So I'm going to try them both out and. Uh, See how I feel about them. Uh, I'm gonna be using my uh, Samoa Owners Club and Boar once again. And uh, the cool thing about Dapper Dragon is uh, uh, he'll make you a custom, custom sense. Maybe I'm sure a lot of people do it. I don't know, but uh, recently I requested that he make me a uh, a grape scent, kind of like the uh, you know the chewing gum, the big. Big League 2 or something, the grape, very distinctive grape, but yeah, there's not a whole lot of grape soap on the market, which I think is a little strange. I know they have the Katie's Bubble grape, and there's some, some out there, but there's not a lot, and some people, I was asking about it, some people say it's just too, it's too like basic or cliche or it's too simple. Personally, I love I love the smell of grapes, so I think that's uh, I think that's something that's missing from the soap community. You know, we have a lot of great orange soaps. Why can't we have grape? Anyway, so I've got uh, Dapper Dragon making me some custom grape, uh, named it Royal Dragon. Should be getting that pretty soon, and I will let you guys know how it is and if it's you know worth trying yourself if you like it you can just go to his Etsy and request Royal Dragon but let's not get ahead of ourselves alright so I'm still getting used to this bore brush um, it's, like, it's like I've built the lather while I was loading the brush I guess you really really have to get all the water out of it you know with the Plyson and Plyson I could just give it a few shakes and I could load it and it would be nice and dry and pasty. Uh, but with this bore, it's uh, you know, it's, it's just a lather machine. So yeah, all right. All right, so I've just got an insane amount of lather here. And I mean, this ridiculous. I guess the bores work differently, or maybe I'm loading too much, or putting too much water. I don't know. Who cares, right? We don't have to be so scientific about the way we shave all the time. I think some of us take it a little too seriously, you know? Almost every video I put up, someone either PMs me on Reddit, comments here or there point out something that's wrong, you know, and constructive criticism is fine with me. Sometimes I think we're just, we're just taking it too far. If, if you can lather your soap and get a nice irritation-free shave, then you're doing it right. Unless you're doing something really wacky and then, in which case, you should just stop and uh, take somebody else's advice. Oh yeah, once again using my uh, 8 8 uh, uh, custom straight razor from the Scottish Razor Co. From the, the genius straight razor maker known as Stephen Joyner. Been enjoying this. Uh, this is my third shave in a row using it it's just nice it's delightful to use I've got to uh, work on my angles a little bit with it but still so far no irritation from it no bleeding shouldn't say that before the shave is over or while I'm shaving around my Adam's apple that's just asking for trouble All right. Remove my scuttle here. This is my scuttle, by the way. It's a little vintage uh, uh, 
Colonel Ichiban Conk. Found it at an antique shop. Um, I think I paid like 20 bucks for it, which is probably too much. But you know, I went there looking for shaving stuff and it was slim picking, so I wanted to leave with something. I ended up getting that and a uh, travel tech, which also was a little pricier than uh, the going rate. Not by much. I think I paid like 15 bucks for it or something. Which I thought, ooh, that's a neat deal. And then I get home and they're pretty much $10 on eBay all day long. But it's alright. I've still yet to actually use it. I honestly probably never will. It's just kind of neat. It was a, it's a war production 1945 Gillette tech. It's got the little mirror and everything built into the case. That's pretty neat. Great shape. Maybe one day I'll have some kind of a shaving display or something to put up some of my excess things that I don't use. Since I'm becoming uh, somewhat of a hoarder. Yeah. Don't mean to be, man. It just happens. You know, there's just so much great stuff out there. I blame the artisans. Every time I try to quit buying stuff, some new cool shit is released, you know? I blame them all. Mickey Lee, Buffalohead, Dapper Dragon. I blame them all. Chiseled face. But they make great stuff. Really. There's so many great artisans out there right now. Um, I'm still relatively new to wet shaving. Not even a full year, so I don't know what the state of the community was a year ago, but right now there is, you know, lots of options out there. A lot of fantastic options as well. When I first started wet shaving, I think I probably did what a lot of noobs do and jumped on Amazon.com and typed in safety razor. And what's the first thing that pops up? The Mercur long handled safety razor with about a thousand reviews saying it's the best freaking razor they've ever used. So I, I was sold, you know, immediately. And then I thought, okay, I need a brush. So I googled it, I mean not googled, I typed it in Amazon, shaving brush. And what popped up? This Escali Badger brush. Ooh, Badger. It's gotta be nice. Glowing reviews. Everybody loves it. Gotta be a winner, right? Wrong. Then the soap. Soap's the only thing that I'll say that I I didn't end up regretting. I got uh, some, of course, Taylor of Old Bond Street uh, sandalwood, which is definitely not my favorite shaving soap. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Really long-lasting scent. And it's a cream as well. I haven't really used any creams since then. But uh, honestly, after getting into all these artisan soaps and stuff, I find the, the Taylor Bond Bondry to, to smell slightly synthetic. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't. Like, it smells good, but there's something fake about the way it smells, you know? I think it's like a chemical sandalwood. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. Again, I like it. I just, just there's a lot of better options. Again, 
just loving this razor. It's really nice. I mean, I'm a huge proponent for using vintage razors. You know, every time someone says, you know, I'm looking for a straight razor, what should I do? I try to tell them, you know, get yourself a vintage razor. You can get one for cheaper than in a brand new razor and you can determine whether or not you like shaving with a straight razor. You probably should test the water before you make a huge investment. But, back to what I was saying, my main beef, if you want to call it that, with, uh, with new production straight razors is, I don't know, and this is just my opinion, but they, they just don't have any character. No personality. They just look like cut and paste molds of of what a straight razor used to look like, but fancied up for the new age, you know? They're just bland. And don't get me wrong, they shave fine, I'm sure. New Dobos, I'm sure they're great once you get them professionally honed. Especially if you get it from uh, Maggard. Yeah, but anyways. I don't usually recommend uh, new production razors, but I guess this is a different category altogether. Custom razors, you know, Shave Smith, uh, uh, Rocky Mountain Aristocrat, I think that's his Reddit name. He makes some really nice stuff, beautiful stuff, and he hand forges it all. I'll probably be definitely getting something from him in the future. I've seen a lot of his work, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. And he seems like a pretty nice guy in general, from just some random uh, commenting to one another on Reddit throughout the months. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. Good shave. Nice and smooth, feeling good, can't complain, no cuts, no nicks, no irritation, just the way I like it, as usual. And uh, I'm going to finish it with some Witch Hazel and then probably some uh, Armada Blossom, if you can see that there, from uh, Shave Ship. So I won't bore you guys, uh, but yeah, check out the Dapper Dragon Signature Soap. Smells great. And also, uh, Scottish Razor Co. Check them out. See you guys.